Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Heavy Rain. It's time for Scott to get back in action. Enter detective mode. I wonder if we'll get some fallout for, you know, semi threatening the son of the rich dude, but we'll see. First day, 11.10 a.m., 3.332 inches. Manfred! Manfred! Hmm, I want to touch that. Typewriters, Anybody old school home? technology. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this this calls for a celebration. I'm just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Oh, what a nice old man. Wait. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Yeah, I'll answer your phone, man. Sure, you no seem problem. nice. Why not? We'll drink later. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Booze. Woohoo! Well to old friends. Bottoms up, buddy. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Oh. Let's have a look. Ah, that's smart. Identify the typewriter. Maybe he came to the store. If really lucky. Now could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Ha! <laughs> now we're truly a detective. Well, at least one from the old cartoons, you know, from back in the day. A magnifying glass and a trench coat. Here you go, dude. Let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. The Royal Five. Hmm, yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. See how much it helps us. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic uh, or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. Aww. 
Thanks, buddy. You think the it's a long shot, but still. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. It's a weird way to capture the dude for a typewriter Noda, but still, it can be done. Ooh, is there a little flirt going on? Killed a nice old dude, man. What the fuck? Of course, no sign of him. Scott? Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. Ah, I'm gonna clean the crime scene. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're gonna be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. Okay, okay, okay. Everything we touched. Uh, let's start from here. The window. That's the phone. We also touched the body, but I don't think we can clean that. No. Alright. Um, oh, Lauren sat on that edge, but I can't clean that, so I guess that doesn't really count. We touched this phone. Let's see, the shots and the magnifying glass. You have to retrace all your steps, man. So, ah, that means that we're lucky that we didn't touch all those typewriters when we entered the shop. So if you guys did, clean the fingerprints. Just gonna clean them all. And a magnifying glass. Scott, you could be much longer. The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. Yeah, lady, relax. I just explain to everybody that we need to clean everything. Ooh, yeah, the ballerina. yet. See, we didn't touch this, but the door. Oh, nice one. Almost didn't think of that, man. I accidentally stepped over here, but it's lucky. Yeah, I'm good to go. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from fighting us. Come on, let's go. Poor dude. 
We'll find out who did that, man. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We were partners, remember? We had a deal. Reason? Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer. But you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Uh, we'll go for annoyed. You're gonna be a good girl. You're gonna go home and let me get on with my investigation. Stop the car. Stop the fucking car. Hey, yo, lady. Killing us both is not gonna help. You let go of the wheel. Scott has a nice car, man. You need to keep it that way. Should say sorry, man. I better catch up with her. Ooh, angry face. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Come on, let's make nice. You can use a buddy, man. It's a dangerous case. Once again in my arms. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. No. See, he does care. He's too manly to show it. But hey, that wraps up this chapter. Next time, we'll do the next chapter. See you guys then.